Comedian Rob Schneider believes that Saturday Night Live is beginning to beat a dead horse with their sketch jabs at the Trump administration. The 54-year-old who got his big break with NBC's comedy series in the 1990s feels the show has gotten its point across when it comes to its disdain for Trump. The fun of Saturday Night Live was always you never knew which way they leaned politically, he told the New York Daily News. You kind of assumed they would lean more left and liberal, but now the cat's out of the bag they are completely against Trump, which I think makes it less interesting because you know the direction the piece is going. The comedian was a part of SNL during a time when greats like Dana Carvey, Mike Myers, Chris Farley, Chris Rock, Phil Hartman, Tim Meadows, David Spade and Adam Sandler were also cast members. Schneider's latest project on Netflix Real Bob Explores, How Different Alec Baldwin's Approach to Trump, is from Dana Carvey's portrayal of George H. W. Bush. Carvey played the former president more than 30 times between 1987 and 2000. Carvey played it respectfully, Schneider added. To me, the genius of Dana Carvey was Dana always had empathy for the people he played, and Alec Baldwin has nothing but a fuming, seething anger toward the person he plays. The San Francisco native added that Baldwin is hard to watch as Trump because he clearly isn't a fan of the president. Alec Baldwin is a brilliant actor, he's not a comedian, he asserted. I don't find his impression to be comical because, like I said, I know the way his politics lean, and it spoils any surprise. There's no possible surprise. He so clearly hates the man he's playing. Schneider has recently identified as an independent, having long been a Democrat, and speaks on the tense political climate during his shows. He finds humor in the hypocrisy and liberals, but feels the PC culture of today is making that more difficult. Literally if you don't go the party line, you're out. There's a real ugliness to it, said Schneider. The actor has had his own slew of controversial roles, including playing a stereotypical Asian priest in I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry, a Middle Eastern delivery man in Big Daddy, a Latino man in The Water Boy, and a native Hawaiian in 50 First Dates. Schneider whose grandmother was Filipina and married a white army private called himself a centrist but would not share if he supported Trump. Nothing good can come from making Trump nervous, Schneider stated about bashing the president. It's like asking Bill Cosby to top off your drink. The two have a pre-existing relationship, costering together in Home Alone 2, lost in New York. At the time, Schneider didn't inform SNL that he was doing the movie, going to film during the day before filming for the show at night. Trump was nice enough to give me a room. He gave me a room for free so I could sleep between shots.
He was very generous and nice and has been nice every time I saw him. He told me hated me, but he was kind of joking because I made fun of him. One of the actor's issues with Trump stems on immigration. Schneider is married to a woman from Mexico City and they have a bilingual daughter. He tweeted Trump in 2015 to share that his daughter only had a problem that she could speak both Spanish and English before she was three. I make fun of the Republicans too, he added. I think attacking immigrants is ignorant. Immigrants are what make America great. Politics will be a huge talking point at this year's Emmy Awards with Weekend Update hosts Michael Chi and Colin Jost hosting the NBC show.